Who's running your business? Hi, I'm Steve Hansen, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. You know, in the last months I've been having conversations with cleaning business owners and uh, you know, they're contacting me because they're needing some help to make some changes in their business. And after a conversation with them, what I found out is that the employees are running, running their business. Um, and, uh, you know, sometimes you have to ask those tough questions, uh, you know, to these business owners, you know, who's exactly running your business? Uh, because from what you're telling me, uh, it sounds as if your employees are. So through more of a conversation, you know, I find out that that's exactly the fact. Uh, and what I mean by that is that uh, uh, in many cases uh, with these conversations that I've had that uh, the business owner uh, over time has built a, a culture in their business where the employee pretty much gets whatever they want. And some of that is, uh, uh, you know, time off or, you know, coming and going as they please um, and, uh, you know, getting more, getting paid more money. Uh, in some cases, you know, some people are getting paid way too much money uh, for the responsibilities they have and or the position that they hold. And in fact, in some cases, some of these people don't even belong in the position that they're holding, but yet they're getting paid a lot of money uh, to be in that position uh, and they shouldn't be there. But what happens is that the owner decides to go ahead and you know promote these people and give them what they want because they don't want to lose them. They don't want to rock the boat. Um, and I understand that, you know, I get that. I've been there many times uh, starting multiple new companies and, you know, hiring the first employee and so on and so forth. I know it, I get it, but we also have to have control of our company. We don't want it to have it to where the employees are going to tell us how it's run and how things operate. Uh, that's just, that's just not good. Um, and because what happens is, like I say, through these conversations that I have, many people are coming to me because there's, there's problems, there's real issues. Uh, the business can't grow, it, it can't, uh, you know, it has issues with, with uh, you know, this, that, or the other. And uh, that's why is because uh, uh, there's, there's, you know, employees running the business and not the owner. But, you know, you can turn that around. Uh, it does take some work. Uh, the one thing that you want to do is that you've got to make a plan as to how you're going to change this. Uh, you want to identify the people that are in these positions that shouldn't be in those positions and where you're spending a lot of money where you shouldn't be. Um, because, you know, it's a matter of just having a conversation with some of these people and letting them know that, you know, that there's going to be adjustments made. And in most cases, because of the culture that's been built, uh, they're not going to be happy about it. Uh, they're going to be upset, but so be it. You got to be prepared for that because we're going to make some changes because we want this company to grow. We want it to be able to scale. Uh, and we can't do that when we have employee control. Um, so that's what we're looking forward to. And that's how we're going to do it is that we're going to build a plan. We're going to talk, talk with people. We're going to make some changes, some shifts, some people around. We are going to lose some people, you know, so, you know, don't be surprised about that, you know, and don't let your heart get in the way. Uh, we're, this is business, you know, uh, it, it's nothing personal. This is all business. And I think that's where the, the problem generally lies is because people often are thinking with their heart and not with their head when it comes to business and it can get you in trouble. Um, so the first thing to do is that you got to stop doing that. You got to change the way you're thinking. Don't worry about if people are gonna uh, gonna leave because they're not happy with the hours they work or the amount of pay, or this, that, and the other. You know, we really can't worry about that. You know, I always feel that you should always be uh, tough but fair, and you should always pay somebody a fair wage for uh, for the position that they hold and the responsibilities that they have. Very important, you know. But we don't want to overpay people. You know, and one thing uh, one thing that could be an eye opener for you is if you did uh, some market research to see what kind of wages are people are getting paid in your service area. You know, what's the frontline cleaner getting paid? What, what's the supervisor getting paid? What's a, a, a manager getting paid in your service area? You, you might be surprised, and in fact, I know a lot of these people will be surprised uh, that they're overpaying people, um, you know, which, uh, you know, is a, is a really a, a not a good thing. 
uh, let alone, uh, you know, with the overpaying people that they give them a lot of time off, which is okay, you know, but we need to balance everything. Uh, but anyway, the whole point of this video is that, uh, you know, we can't let the, we can't let the employees run the business. We have to build a culture, but we have to build a culture that, uh, that is a, a positive culture to where, to where we're all working as a team for a common goal and not to where it's one-sided for only one person's interest or a, or a group of people's interests uh, because that doesn't work. So, so anyway, that's about all I got on this uh, topic. Uh, you know, if, uh, if you like to go ahead and click on the like and share button and you know, over at the janitorial store.com and my house cleaning base, uh, com, we have a wealth of information about how to start, grow and scale a, a cleaning business. Uh, we've been doing this a long time. We've done it uh, ourselves with multiple companies uh, in multiple states. Um, so, you know, we, we offer a, uh, just a, a wealth of support and information for, uh, to help anybody uh, do this. So uh, check it out. I, I don't think you'll be uh, unhappy at all. In fact, you know, we've got many, many members that have joined, uh, you know, for $147.00. And uh, we've helped them pick up accounts that were, were worth over a quarter of a million dollars. So that's a pretty good investment when you, tell, when you ask me. You know, $260,000 account for $147? Yeah, that's a no-brainer. So anyway, till next time, we'll see you.